So I get to here. I get this thing going. Got that driver hooked up to pins two and three. I have a ground here. What I see in the ground is supposed to go to the pulse minus and the direction minus, which it does. I have my 36 volt input there. I have the motors right there. I know those are set up right, but I'm not even getting vo any voltage at all out of these output pins. Um, I have the solid light and it's communicating according to that with the computer. Hit the e-stop on off. That's working because you see how the red light come on and off. But every time I try to move manually, I am getting nothing at all. Um, on top of that, if I put leads uh, to here, that stays like that. I never get anything at all. I don't know if I should should get an output voltage or what. I would think so. So I'm to a ground. That stays zero like that. So I'm not getting anything out of the breakout board. I know I have communication. The jumper's off right there. I got my voltage right. It's two into five volts right here. I checked all that with a digital readout. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm not getting, I don't know if I'm supposed to have a green light, not a red light on that driver. It doesn't matter if I play with the dip switches, I never get nothing there. And then... Here's where it really gets fun. When I go to config and I go to plugins... Go to my motor outputs. So there's pin two and three. Just like that, pin two and three. Step port one. Click OK. Uh oh. E stop again, and then it crashes, and the whole program crashes. So anytime I go into a config menu, this thing's crashing. So that's the other problem I have. So if anybody could help me what I got going on, that'd be great.